Good morning, guys. Uh, today, uh, this session talks about formatting of cells, and uh, uh, I have uh, already uploaded, I think, five six videos on this uh, formatting. And uh, this time, I, I'm again. Uh, I thought of. Uh, I actually came to know uh, about this option, and I actually found it a very good option and very u usable. In case if you are aware of it. Uh, you can definitely use it and uh, so I just thought of you know uploading the video and uh, sharing it with you uh, so uh, before that I just uh, actually uh, tell you what exactly you're supposed to do is a uh, lot of guys have asked me that you know uh, when they actually see my videos they don't basically get the videos back to back so they'll have to search it and sometimes they're not able to search my videos on the YouTube right because as of now like there are somewhere around 47 videos which I have uploaded and they if, they if they want to check all the videos in just one go then how, how to do that so uh, I have created a playlist for you guys and uh, I'm not sure whether you know this option or not but when you ch when you're checking my video on um, through any of the link you know then what you need to do is uh, you need to actually click on my name over there when you are watching this video and uh, it will take you to my this playlist right uh, as you can uh, see here uh, this is the uh, basically the uh, the playlist and uh, this playlist uh, if you click here uh, excel vba all in one go then you will uh, see my all the videos here I, i'll just show you in a moment so you have all the videos over here you can watch them uh, according to the title you'll get all the videos here similarly you have the chart and pivots you have the excel videos you have the arrays videos so whatever the video you want to see uh, you'll get that all the videos in one go right so otherwise you can even click on the playlist and the moment you're going to click on the playlist uh, you can see all these videos right so i just watched this video and i came to know that how you can actually <laughs> make the playlist so this has 45 videos this has three videos as of now this has 27 videos this is all about the excel only this is about specifically about the arrays this is all the VBA videos, 10 videos so far and this is all about the formatting of the cells and I'm gonna upload a one just video right now and I will add this video in this playlist, right? So uh, that's how you can watch it, it's actually very easy and I hope uh, this will help. So what I'm going to do is today uh, I'm gonna teach you actually uh, how you can change the color of the cell without using the conditional formatting, right? So what we are going to achieve here is if some number is below 50 if some number is less than 50 then the color should be in red and if it is greater than 50 then the color should be green right and we are not going to do use the any um, condition formatting for this what we are going to use is we are going to customize customize the cells which is a part of your formatting cells right so let's see how you can do this uh, So go to the format cells I, and here in customize what you need to write is just write red and it has to be less than 50 and use the zero and then again semicolon and uh, you need to write what color you want I want the green as I said earlier and this has to be for all those values greater than 50 and zero right press ok now you can see that the color is changing uh, let me just make this size bigger so that you can actually check you know easily that what color we are having now I have entered here 8 so you can check that the color was red and this time it is green so that's how you can even do it this stuff and here there is no need to do the uh, conditional formatting this can even be done with the you know this thing and you can even combine this thing in the charts right i'll upload a video and i'll w talk uh, on that on a separate note but this is how you can do it if i press one and it will be red and if i'm gonna press 30 again it it's gonna be red and if i press 57 which is greater than this then it is going to be a green color right if you want to change the color you can even change the color let's say if you want to make the color let's say blue this color will be blue and this will be red right so I hope you like the video and uh, do subscribe to my channel uh, uh, in case you want to be an awesome in Excel and VBA and let me know that's my email ID what do you think about this videos and uh, uh, till I come